All right, it is wonderful to meet so many new team members. Um, my name is Michelle Zito, and I am your company vice president here at Park Lane. We are thrilled to welcome you to Team Shine On. Um, I am located on Long Island in New York, and our team is located all over the country, as you may have noticed from all of the posts that have gone on these last four super exciting days. Um, we have team members on the East Coast, the West Coast, the Midwest, the South, the North, we are all over and I'm super proud of that. So that's one of the most fun things about once we go to convention is that we're all together and you, have, you get to hear every accent in all of America on the same team. <laughs> So that is super fun. Um, so my job here is to support you and to help to train you and to cheer you on. If we are not Facebook friends yet, uh, you, I'm sure you're all at this point on the, the Shine On Team Facebook page, and you've seen me do about 42,000 posts since the time you've joined, so feel free to shoot me a friend request. I do love to be Facebook friends with everybody on the team. It helps us to get to know each other. It helps with recognition when you start having achievements and stuff, so um, I love to be Facebook friends with you all. So congratulations on being part of a historic four days here at Park Lane. In the five and a half years that I have been here, we have never had this, where, where there was a free kit opportunity, and people that have been here longer than me said the exact same thing. So this was really a first, and I love that our team is such, is a team that's like on top of their stuff, because we had really, so many of our team members reaching out to make sure that their customers and their hostesses and their friends and family knew about this free kit opportunity. And that way you could take advantage of it. So congratulations on knowing someone who is really good at their job. And we're going to teach you how to be really good at your new job. So we are thrilled to have you here. Now, just a couple of quick notes about the free kit. So, um, really everybody who joined over these past four days took advantage of the $20 registration, which is really pretty much covering the shipping on your kit. You are receiving $1,000 in jewelry of your choice. If you have not yet chosen your kit, you'll see that there is a list of recommended pieces that are currently available for you to put in your kit as well as a, photo, a series of photos that shows a good amount of them. So um, that is on the team page for you. Your recruiter or your leader can advise you on that. And the, um, <laughs> are you set with your camera there? Okay. Um, the, Kit also comes with a one-year subscription to your website uh, that you won't have to pay a thing for again until a year from now. The website is $100 a year, so that's already included for you. And you're going to receive a limited amount of paperwork. So you'll get a couple of catalogs, um, a getting started booklet, a... Um, um, what else is coming in there? I think some wish lists and the hostess packets that you need for your, t um, your hostesses. You do have a link in your welcome that will provide you a 50% off your first paperwork order so that you can get additional items if you do want to get additional paperwork for your kid, if you want to have paper order forms, things like that. Lots of things are downloadable and if your leader is local to you and she is doing or he is doing your launch party, then just be aware that I'm quite sure that they're going to use their jewelry and their paperwork at your launch party. Okay? So... good thing going on. I'm going to go see Stan. What? I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to go visit him. Yeah. Um... So if you are um, having a le your show with your local leader, then you can be assured that she's going to come with her jewelry, she's going to come with her catalogs, and, um, and use all of that. All right? But the catalog won't change until late 
July. So if you do place an order, be aware you do have like pretty much a full two months to use them, anything that you do order, okay? So with the, the commitment that you are looking to achieve with your, $90, uh, with your $20 kit is that you have 30 days to complete your $1,000 in qualifying sales. The 30 days started the day you purchased your kit. So if you have purchased your kit today, uh, June 3rd, then you technically have till July 3rd to do that $1,000 in sales. That is why your recruiter slash leader wants to do a launch party with you, ASAP, because the launch party is typically where we help you get, if not all of it, practically all of it, okay? We launch people at $1,000 in sales quite regularly, all of us. That's a very normal number. So we want to do that launch party for you as soon as possible, because the sooner we get you started, the sooner we can um, get those sales in for you. Now, I know that I said you have 30 days. However, I would like you to look at your calendar for June, and I want you to circle June 26th. Okay, June 26th, which is the last Wednesday in June. All right, in Park Lane World, that's the last day of June, and it is way more to your advantage to have your thirty, um, to have your thousand dollars in sales in on the twenty sixth than the twenty seventh, the twenty eighth, or the twenty ninth. I will explain why shortly. But everybody, right now, circle June twenty sixth on your calendar and write one thousand dollar deadline. Many of you will do way more than that by June 26th. <laughs> Many of you have already done it. Some of you have, will do that within this week. Um, but there are many advantages to you doing it by the 26th, and there's even more advantages to doing it by the 12th, all of which I'm going to go over for you on this Zoom. All right? Now, in the event that you do not have your $1,000 in by whatever your 30th day is, then Parkling will bill you the cost of the kit normally, which is $229. Obviously, $229 is a great deal. We, have, we all started paying that. Your recruits will start paying that. But um, you don't have to, and we're going to support you every step of the way. I'm quite sure that no one will have that problem. Okay, so let's continue on. Does anyone have a question to this point? Okay, so we're going to move on now. So tonight on this Zoom, we're going to focus on our Rich Rewards program. That's the program that we have that allows you to earn free jewelry every single month, as well as to get uh, discounted catalogs. We're gonna focus on how that you're going to introduce your business to your family and friends, and that includes having a fun and successful launch party. So again, I hope you're ready to take some notes. Now there are some things I'm gonna share with you that we're gonna to provide to you in a script. There's other things that you're gonna to wanna to jot down, okay? Um, Normally at this point, I would have you guys introduce yourself, but um, I know we don't all want to be on this call until midnight. So I'm super excited to see so many of you. Um, if you want to comment in the chat your name and who recruited you, feel free to do that. The chat is in the middle of the bottom of the screen, and um, we can take a look there so that we can keep going with our agenda tonight. Um, Park Lane is super generous to all of us, and you're going to see this. As you know, I mean, you started out with a free kit, so you've already experienced Park Lane's generosity, but honestly, it's just the beginning. Park Lane knows that we want to add free jewelry to our kits all the time, not just when we're new. Um, Phyllis has been with Park Lane for several years. I see Belinda. I've been here for over five years. Sheila's been with Park Lane for 30 years, and don't we always want to add more jewelry to our kit? <laughs> That's not something that ever goes away, but we don't want to spend our own 
money on the jewelry. We want to earn it for free as part of our job. So that is what we have our Rich Rewards program for. So I'm going to share my screen here for you so that I can show you the brochure that shows you how to earn all of this jewelry. Now, some of you are super new. So I'm even going to show you this part. So you either your leader may have signed you up or you may have signed yourself up, but to sign into the website now, you're going to do not now, now, I mean, from now on, um, you're going to put in your email as your username and then whatever the password that you chose is. This is the dashboard that shows you your sales and stuff for the month. You don't have any yet, so don't worry about that. We are going to the field interface. The field interface is where all of our important training and other like things that you'll want to check out is. Right now, all I'm going to just point out to you is this right here is the network magazine. Always important that you know where this is. This is the... Um, like the magazine that Parkland puts out on the first of every month that explains what all the specials are. What's the guest special? What's the customer special? What's the hostess special? Um, here is where they announced that we just started earning a trip to St. Martin all over again. You all are eligible for this program. So if anyone is interested in earning a trip to an all-inclusive resort in St. Martin, tell your recruiter so we can get you on track. Um, so all of that type of stuff is in here. Um, again, what the specials are and things like that. So this is important to know where that is. But what we're going to look at right now is the download section. And we're going to take a look at the Rich Rewards Club brochure. Now, sometime after this call, I would recommend coming back to visit this and print this out and hang it up somewhere that you will see it so that you don't forget all the ways that you can earn additional jewelry. Okay, so let's take a look at these levels. Level one, submit personal sales of 1,000 in the first two weeks of a calendar month with Park Lane, and you'll be rewarded with $250 in jewelry of your choice. So, I just wanna stop here for one minute, and if you have the ability to look at a calendar right now, I would like you to do so if you're using a paper calendar, or if you can just at least open up the calendar on your phone. Because a park lane month and a normal month are not the same thing. All right, so here's the scoop. The park lane month ends on the last Wednesday of the month, and then the next day starts the new month. So if we were to look at the May calendar, the last Wednesday of May was May 29th. So that means that Park Lane May ended on May 29th, and that May 30th is when the new network came out and the June specials went into effect. So that means that June, May 30th and 31st, and then continuing on into June, June, um, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth makes up week one of June. So that's the first pay week. Then June 6th starts the second pay week. And whatever sales you put in from the 6th through the 12th is the second week. So in order to earn Rich Rewards Level 1, you need to put in $1,000 in sales by June 12th. Does that make sense? And that's how it goes any given month. So that means that I know a lot of you have a launch party booked for this upcoming weekend. So that means that you have absolutely plenty of time to achieve this, right? That you have till June, all the way till June 12th um, to go ahead. If your launch party is not booked, then now you know that if you can book it sooner, that you absolutely should because if you wait till later, you miss out on that level. All right, so that's the first level. All the rest of the levels are based on the entire month. So even if you miss level one, you certainly can go on to earn every other level any given month, okay? So in June, just so that you're clear, week three is the 13th to the 19th, 
and week four is the 20th to the 26th, which is why you circled that the last day in June is June 26th because you'll, it will help you earn your rich rewards to go ahead and get your sales in by this date. And there's more advantages that we will get to. So let's finish looking at rich rewards. Level two is your free catalogs. When your sales for the whole entire month are 1500 or more, then you get to place your supply order for catalogs, not your supply order, your catalog order. You get to place a catalog order, buy one, get one free. So if you place an order for 20 catalogs, you will actually, um, if you place an order for 20 catalogs, they'll actually send you 40. 20 is the lowest number that you can order. So if you ordered 50 catalogs, they would send you 100 for that price. If you want to have Spanish catalogs on hand, you can tell them in the comments box how many you want in Spanish. So if you, because if you're ordering everything on the English website, they automatically assume you want everything in English. But if you would like to have five Spanish catalogs on hand, or if you want your supply order to be 20 in English and 20 in Spanish, that's completely allowed. Just put it in the comments box. You'll see that when you actually do it. Level three is your free designer jewelry. Submit sales of 2,500 over the whole course of the month, and then you get that piece that month's ensemble of the month. The ensemble of the month is whatever piece Park Lane decided is going to be given to us for free that's going to be available to sell the very next month. So last month we earned the Katy earrings. They were um, Katy Perry inspired. She wore them on American Idol and I think on a, at a red carpet event. So we're waiting for them to come in the mail now, those of us that earned them in May. And them, I think they're showing up on the website now. And now we can start showing them at our parties. The level three shows up to you completely free. No shipping, no tax, nothing. And it's a way to keep your kit fresh and new without costing you a single penny. Then there's level four, which is when you do $4,000 over the course of the whole month, then you get to pick out an additional $300 in jewelry of your choice. The ones where you pick the jewelry of your choice, you simply pay the tax on the amount and $650 shipping. Now notice that these are all cumulative. So if you were to do your thousand by June 12th and then continue on by the end of the month to put in 4,000, you will have earned 550 in jewelry of your choice, the buy one get one free catalogs, and the ensemble of the month. Does that sound good? Are we mm -hmm. excited about earning lots of free jewelry? <laughs> I'm sure if you're a good, if you are a customer or a regular in any way with the person who signed you up, has your person probably done like all kinds of raffles that you've experienced, giveaways on their VIP page, or they sent you a little extra gift when you booked a party? This is because we have the ability to earn a lot of free jewelry. So you can really be very generous with your, with your pieces. Now levels five and six are based on team building. When two people join your team and then go on to have their qualifying thousand dollars in sales, you um, get to pick out 300 in jewelry. And if four people do, you get another 300. For a grand poobah total of $1,100 in jewelry plus catalogs. It's a phenomenal program. Most companies, I will tell you right off the bat, most companies only offer this, something like this, to new people. And we get to do it every single month. I'm earning this jewelry, same as you, same as your recruiter, and same as the number one person in the whole entire company. Which also happens to be our upline, by the way. This is like the best team ever to be on. We are actually the number one team in all of Park Lane. Um, so, and I'm not just being like, we're number one. Like, we're really number one. They give an award for it and we win it. <laughs> so, very, very exciting. This is like a real thing. All right. So, that is our Rich Rewards program. Are we excited to earn jewelry? You know, it gives me a little anxiety when like everybody's on mute, but okay. So I'm going to assume that in everyone's house you, that I, that everybody went, yes. And your family's wondering what's going on. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tamika. So with that being the case, I know you're excited to earn jewelry, but who's excited to earn money? <laughs> Woo! 
Thank you. <laughs> Is your spoke cheer? Okay, excellent. So that means that now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's jot down some numbers here. Ready? First, I want you to write down 12 to 15 average orders. 12 to 15 average orders. Okay. Next, you're going to write down $1,000 in sales. $1,000 in sales. And then write down $300 in commission. $300 in commission. All right, so what do these numbers mean? When you collect 12 to 15 orders on your launch party, and for that matter, any party you ever do, and I know, you all know, 12 to 15 people with a neck. Okay, so 12 to 15 orders collected for your show, you can expect that will yield you at least $1,000 in orders. And on that $1,000 in orders, you can expect that that will bring you about a $300 paycheck. Does that sound good? Yeah. Woo! All right, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> so Having a successful launch party that your recruiter or leader is probably doing for you, if not at least helping you in some way with, um, is really critical to getting your business started off strong and in making sure that you have business that's going to extend beyond your family and friends. And there are three steps that are going to make this launch party a success. All right, here are the three steps. Number one, have two launch shows, over invite and invite everyone. That's all the same step. Have two launch shows, over invite and invite everyone. Number two, invite using multiple methods and know what to say when you're doing that inviting. Invite using multiple methods and know what to say. And step three is to fill your calendar with parties so that you can earn great commission and rich rewards. Fill your calendar with parties so that you can earn your rich rewards and make a lot of money. <laughs> so obviously right now we're gonna go over each of those three steps. Okay, so step one was to have two launch shows over invite and invite everyone. I do highly recommend scheduling two launch parties, really just within like a couple of days of each other at different times. So in other words, let's say you're gonna do one on Friday night at seven, do the second one Sunday at noon for a brunch, or one on Wednesday at seven, and then the second one on Friday night. Something where there's like different type of time and day. Um, even if you're doing it the same day, you may wanna do Saturday at noon, Saturday at 7. So kind of just representative of different times that you'll be offering your shows. And the reason for that is that, number one, it makes it doubly effective when you start doing your uh, reach outs to invite people because if someone says, oh, I can't come on Friday nights because Mikey has basketball, you're going to say, oh, no problem. I'm also having a brunch and bling on Sunday. Why don't you come to that one? So see how you have like an automatic backup? So that's number one. And number two, it gives you the practice back to back because your leader will be probably with you at the first one and then you'll be ready to do the second one like right after that before you forget everything <laughs> that was done. So that's really where the two launches really help you. And here's the thing, only about a third of who you invite will actually show up to your house that day. You'll think it's half. But then the day of, there's always a stomach virus, a traffic jam, I forgot I had this. There's always some last minute cancellations, okay? So it's going to be a third, which means that if you invite 30, seven to 10 are probably coming. And that's still a great party, don't get me wrong. But 
Um, if your leader is going to be standing in your living room, who has the knowledge, who knows how to wow people, who can get you the high sales, who's going to get bookings on the calendar for you, wouldn't you rather have her in front of 15 of your friends instead of five? Right? So, um, the key to this is to do not prejudge and to over invite. Diversify that list. And what I mean by that is, are you like, oh, I'm not inviting Fran. She never has any money and she's not going to buy anything. You're going to invite Fran because Fran might book a party because she doesn't have the money to buy what she wants. Fran might want to join your team so that she can stop not having any money. Either way, that's for her to decide and not you, right? Um, if you're like, oh, not inviting Sue, she's so busy, she's not going to have time to come. Busy people get the most done, and what if she wants the night out? You don't get to decide she doesn't get a night out, she gets to decide if she doesn't want a night out, okay? So you're going to invite her. And here's the thing too, always invite your neighbors, regardless of how well you know them. There's extra little postcards that come in your kit, um, actually they may not come in your kit, but your hostess, your Recruiter will give you some postcards or the little mini catalog kinds. Um, you could even make your own, whatever, but you want to invite your neighbors because number one, even in the worst weather, the neighbors still come because all they have to do is scoot across the street for free wine. Who's not coming? Number two is that um, I'm going to tell you a little quick story. So I invited my neighbor, Pam. Pam was my diagonal across the street neighbor at the time. And I didn't really see her all that often. But when I did happen to run into her the week of my launch party, I invited her. She said, oh, okay, let me let you know. Oh, and look at this. Summer Rice is saying in the comments that she recruited her neighbor. See how this goes? So, um... I invited my neighbor, to tour. she said, oh, let me let you know. I figured that's like code for no, right? But instead, the day before the party, she texted me and said, hey, um, I would like to come. I was so excited that she was coming. Then the day of the party, she texts me and says, would it be okay if I brought my aunt and my sister? Now I'm ready to like have a heart attack because I'm gonna have three guests I didn't know I was having two of which now are complete strangers, which are the best guests. So um, I say, of course, that would be wonderful. The three of them come, all three of them purchase. The aunt has since come to two more events with me, and the sister has spent probably $3,000 plus with me over the three years that I've worked here at Park Lane. She's attended every kind of event, VIP, whatever. And finally, after five and a half years, she is my hostess on Wednesday night at my sip and style. So I would have never met her because the reason we encourage people to bring a friend is because when people say bring a friend, they think of people that actually love jewelry, right? So if they wanna have, um, if they want to, if they want to, um, If they want to bring a friend, they're going to think of someone who loves jewelry and that's who they're going to invite, right? It, just like if someone said to you, you're going to a cooking party, you'd think of who do I know that likes to cook, right? They're going to bring you people that love jewelry who aren't there for because they owe you a favor, because they're, they're going to, you know, you'll know if they're lying, whatever. They just come because they love jewelry and they always place a big order and they often book a show. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and invite everybody. All right, now, um, quick question. Those of you, how many of you have, just you could like wave, how many of you have a full or part-time job that you do by day? Okay, that's quite a few of you. All right, and I know that a lot of you aren't even on the camera, so hard to, uh, hard to tell, but yes. So, um, did any of you receive a 5% raise at that job anytime recently? <laughs> also the typical answer. So if you have not received a 5% raise at your job anytime recently, you'll be pleased to know that Park Lane is willing to give you a 5% raise as early as next week. If that sounds good, keep listening. So here's the thing. When one person joins your team, 
And anybody who joins with a friend statistically does better because you have someone to bounce ideas off of. So who, you know, do you have someone in your life that enjoys jewelry like you do, that needs extra money, that maybe did direct sales before, that's fashionable. These are all the types of people that you should be saying, huh, maybe they want to do this with me. You'll both be more successful and you will get a raise. It's a two-step process. Number one part of the process is that you personally sell $1,000 in a Park Lane month at some point in your career. And then part two is that your recruit sells 1,000 in qualifying sales. So is it more clear now why I want you to do your 1,000 by June 26th? Because if you do your 1,000 by June 26th, you already have completed the first requirement to getting a 5% raise. And many of you on this Zoom right now already have your first recruit, don't you? There were several people that joined on and shared the free kit with someone else immediately. So if both of you do your qualifying sales this month, then your recruit is ready to promote and you will promote. And that brings you a 5% raise on your personal sales. Now, if you're not sure mathematically what that really is difference-wise, if you did a $600 party tonight as the fashion director you are, you would make a $180 paycheck at your 30%, which is, of course, awesome, right? I mean, you'll be gone for like three hours, and you're going to make $180. That's quite fabulous. But isn't $210 more fabulous? because that's what it is at 35%. Now imagine that times two parties a week, times you know four weeks in a month, times six months time. We're talking hundreds upon thousands of dollars difference, jumping up 5%. So think about who do you know that would enjoy doing this? Because as you start reaching out to people and telling them what you're doing, some people will ask you about the business huh, is that fun? Why did you get involved? Now, you're going to feel like you don't have any answers, right? And you don't. You're brand new. That's okay. You don't need answers. All you need is enthusiasm. So when someone says to you, you know, oh, any, anything about the business, okay? How many shows do you plan to do? They don't care how many shows you plan to do. They want to know how many shows would I have to do if I joined two? Oh, is your husband going to watch the kids? They're asking, do you think my husband would mind watching the kids? These are all code questions, okay? So all you want to say to something like that is, oh my gosh, yes, it is so much fun. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I picked out $1,000 worth of jewelry. The jewelry I have, I get compliments on all the time, and it's going to be so much fun. My friend... Okay, this is the important part. My friend, and then fill in the name of the person that recruited you or the leader of that person, right? Because if you know you signed on with someone brand new, don't say them. Say the leader above that person. <laughs> okay, so my friend Tamika, my friend Donna, my friend Phyllis. And if you're not sure, just say my friend Michelle because I'm happy to do this, this, this call for anybody and take care of this for you. And then, you know, refer it back to get, get it all done with the right people. Okay. So my friend, Michelle is the one answering all my questions. She's really nice. She's not pushy. What if I have her call you tomorrow and answer your questions? Can I have her shoot you a text and then just get the number? Or if you have the number, give that number to your leader. Does everyone feel like they can say that? My friend such and such is answering my questions. I would love for her to answer your questions too. This would be so much fun to do together. Does that sound easy enough? Yes. And remember, good. Remember to say my friend, okay? Not my recruiter or anything else scary like that because now people think you joined the jewelry army or something. Um, so just say my friend. It's a lot more normal language, okay? So. When we hang up today, I want you to make a list and you're going to keep a list running, whether you keep it in the notes app on your phone, whether you're someone who keeps a little notebook nearby, but you'll be driving in the car and all of a sudden you'll think of someone like, oh, you know what? I went to a Leah Sophia party eight years ago at Marion's house. I should see if Marion wants to have a party. 
right? Leah Sophia is gone for five, almost five years now. Do you know most people don't know that? So if somebody says, oh yeah, I love jewelry parties. I go to Leah Sophia all the time. Well, not that much. They've been gone four years, so now they need Park Lane, right? So these are all, you know, you'll think of someone, throw them on a list, talk about it with your leader, talk to your, talk to your recruiter and your upline a lot. Because the more you speak to your upline, the more successful you're going to be. People say all the time, what do I have to do to be successful? You want to know what the answer is? Do what we say. Just do what we say. We know what we're doing. We're not trying to boss you around. We already made all the mistakes. So let us just tell you what works and you don't have to reinvent any wheels. So, you know, we want to help you be successful in as short a time as possible with as little extra work as possible. Okay, so that was step one, okay? I know that was long because I threw in the extra thing about how to get the raise, which I'm sure you all wanted to know. So we're gonna move on now to step two. Although, does anyone have a question about step one or anything regarding getting the raise? Any questions there? No. All right, so let's move on to step two, which is to invite using multiple methods and to know what to say. Now, in today's world, would you agree that there's like a thousand ways you can contact someone? <laughs> it's like, we have texting, we have phone calls, we have Facebook Messenger. Some of you are you even using the other thing, the WhatsApp, all of that, right? Um, so what's super important is that you are using multiple methods to invite people to your party. Because if you only text, then maybe grandma's not getting the invitation because she's not a texter. If you only call, what about your best friend who never picks up the phone? If you only use a Facebook event, you could forget it. Just cancel the party right now because only a Facebook event, most people are not seeing that. They'll see it in support as in addition to other things, but they certainly cannot, um, it can't be your only method of inviting. Um, there are paper invitations you could actually mail, stick into neighbors' mailboxes, things like that. Okay, so you wanna use multiple methods. Uh, Facebook Messenger is great, but here's what you cannot do. You can't pick only one, really four is best methods, but you definitely cannot and should not ever use a group anything, a group chat, a group um, text, None of that. First of all, do we not all hate a group text? Can we just agree that they're like the bane of all existence because they get too far off track, people start discussing other things and it's annoying? And number two, here's the general rule of thumb. And I'm telling you this so that you don't panic when you do your invitations. When you invite people, the no's come first. And you know that when you get invited to something, right? You open an invitation or you get an invitation on text, you look at the date, and if you know right away, oh, that's um, the graduation for, for my nephew, I can't go that day. You answer right away, right? You answer right away, hey, got your invitation, can't come, it's my nephew's graduation, have a great day. So that you can get that off your plate and throw out the invitation of what you can't go to, right? Now imagine that takes place in a group chat with 30 people. <laughs> the no comes, the no comes, the no comes, the no comes. Now the other 26 people go, well, no one's going to that. And now they say no. That would have never happened if they didn't know anything about the first four no's. So no group chats, okay? Um, so what are we going to say when we invite people? This is where um, there is a document with these in in scripts, so this part you don't have to try to write down. But you're just gonna say something to the effect of, you know, hey Sue, oh my gosh, I am so excited. I started my own business with Park Lane Jewelry. Have you heard of Park Lane? And then you pause. They're either gonna say they have or they haven't, right? So you have a normal human interaction at that point. If they haven't, you say what you know about Park Lane. Oh my gosh, the jewelry is so beautiful. Um, all different styles, and an amazing sale. Um, I'm launching my business this Saturday at seven, and I would love if you could come. Are you free to join us? 
I would love it if you can come and give um, and get your opinions on the jewelry. Are you free to join us that night? You want to encourage people to come and give their opinions on the jewelry. And of course, every invitation should be personalized as much as possible. Your friend who always wears big fun statement earrings, that's what you're gonna throw in there, right? I know you're the pro on earrings and I need your opinion on which ones I should add to my kit. If you have a fashionable friend, if you have a friend who's done sales before, whatever it is about her that makes her a valued guest at your party, you wanna make sure you put that in there. Okay, if she says yes, then you're gonna say, oh great, I'm so excited. I'm gonna text you an official invitation. Can you text that to a couple of friends? I would love if you could bring one or two people with you um, that kind of can get their opinions as well. It'd be so much more fun with more girls. And then that's that. If they say no, then what we're gonna do, the general thing that I wanna get you, everybody in your head is if they can't come to me, I'm going to go to them, okay? So that means that to a no, you're going to say, oh, man, that stinks. You know what? Part of my new job is to show the jewelry to my friends and family and get their opinion, and I really do want your opinion. Would it be okay if I stopped by one day this week or next week, depending on what day of the week you're having this conversation? Would it be okay if I stopped by one day next week and showed you the pieces or if you prefer, we could meet at Starbucks or, you know, or for a glass of wine and see if they will let you do that. That's what we call a personal appointment. And personal appointments bring tremendous success to us at Park Lane because a personal appointment can get you a booking, a personal appointment can get you an order, a personal appointment can get you a team member, and sometimes it can get you all three. Minimally, it gets you opinions on the jewelry. And that is something that you're definitely always trying to acquire. So um, that is what you want to try to do with everyone who says, no, I can't come. Does that sound like something you can say? You feel comfortable saying that? The one-on-ones are awesome. They're fun and they're easy. And sometimes you get to drink wine. All right. So let's move on to step three. Step three is to fill your calendar with the number of parties that you want to do. However, I really would recommend trying to do six in the next like five weeks or so. And the reason for that is that we want you to earn lots of your rich rewards, yes, but I want you to enjoy the weekly paycheck that Park Lane is willing to pay you, right? Regular corporate America hardly does weekly pay. Park Lane is still doing weekly pay but you only get paid when you sell something. So why wouldn't you do a show each week, submit it each week, get paid each week? Um, I want you to give yourself the gift of practice because sometimes people say, oh, I'm not good at this. Meanwhile, if you did a regular job, you'd go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and already by week two, you're more comfortable. Then there's people who do the launch party with their leader. They do one more show two weeks later, one more show three weeks after that, and decide they're not good at it. Of course you're not good at it. You haven't practiced anything yet. You haven't given yourself the gift of practice or time um, and to get smooth. So that's why we like you to do two launch parties close by that first week, and then you continue on with your groupings of shows from there. So... Um, when you are inviting people to your launch party, there are probably people that before you invite them to the launch, you can ask if they would host a show, right? And just say, the best part of all of this is that I need two people, two super fun people that are willing to let me meet a few of their friends with either a little gathering or a bigger gathering so that I can give you free jewelry is as thanks for gathering some friends together. Would you be able to have either the big one or the little one? That's all. If they say yes, you get to book the date. If they say no, now you invite them to your launch. And if they say no to that, then you invite them to meet with you the following week for a one-on-one. -on -one. Now, very important when someone says yes is to actually get them to pick a date. <laughs> Because if someone says, sometimes I'll have team members call me and they'll say, oh, I got a booking. Great. When is it? Well, we need to pick a date. 
not a booking. That's a lead for a booking. A booking means you wrote their name on, their ca on your calendar and you've provided them a package and a means from which to start inviting people. Okay, so um, what I like to do to get dates on the calendar is give two choices at a time. Because here's the thing, if somebody, if you just say, yeah, I'm booking June, what happens is they look at their June calendar and they're going to start seeing all these things, right? This night, this day is my nephew's graduation. Oh shoot. This is the last day of school. That's the last day of middle school sports picnic. Now they're, they're like seeing other things on the calendar, none of which really affects their ability to have a jewelry party. But all of a sudden flag day, it became a reason why they can't have a show. Okay, so what you want to do is give them two choices at a time to lead them into a date selection. So what I mean by that is if you're going to be doing shows on weekdays and weekends, that's where you start so that you can just say, okay, that sounds great. Would you, are you thinking of having a weekday or a weekend? And if she says, oh, um, well, the weekdays are a little busy. Let me do a weekend. Okay, were you thinking of doing a daytime or an evening, like a brunch and bling or a girls' night out? And they're like, oh, I can't, you know what? A brunch sounds fun. Okay, great. I have Saturday the 10th and I have Sunday the 17th, which is better. And they generally, when you can guide them in this way, 90% of the time they will pick from what you have offered. Because the reason people start waffling and saying no is when they get overwhelmed with making a decision. And I am the worst with stuff like that. Like when my kids need a dentist appointment or whatever, I hate that because I never know what to pick and I start looking at the calendar and that's exactly what happens. I get overwhelmed. Yet when they say we're open on the 10th, do you want 10 a.m. or 7 p.m.? I generally can pick. So that's how you want to make it easy and convenient for people. All right. Um, if they say, once that's all set, great. I'm going to send you a text that you can use as an invitation for everybody. Invite lots of people. We're going to have so much fun. If they say no, invite them to your launch. If they say no to that, then invite them um, to have the one-on-one. -on -one. You know, would it be okay if I stop by one day next week? I would really love to get your opinions on the jewelry. Okay. Now, if they said no to the hosting and to coming to your launch, typically they will let you do the one-on-one, -on -one, but I will say this, especially to those of you that have never been in sales before, there are going to be people that say no to everything, and it stinks, especially when it's like your mom, your sister, somebody that you really thought would say yes, and they say no, it feels worse. And I just want you to know that when they say no, they don't mean no, Jenny, you're so annoying. This is the worst question I've ever been asked. Don't ever call this number again, okay? That's what it feels like, but it's not what they're saying. They're just saying no because they can't right now. It may mean no, not now, but it probably doesn't mean no, not ever, okay? So I don't want you to get like where you like hating all your friends or you feel hurt or that you feel like a loser because none of that is true. People, some people want the services we offer and some people don't. And I'm just going to tell you from a personal standpoint, when I started in direct sales 19 years ago, because I was with a different company before Park Lane, and I said I was doing this, my mom's reaction was, don't ask me to have one of those parties. And in 19 years, my mom has never hosted a party. <laughs> so, and somehow I have become... The, the leader of the number one company VP team here in Park Lane. So I didn't need my mom. And for that, I do need my mom. But I didn't need my mom to host a party for me to start in direct sales. And there's somebody in your life that you think that will support you that won't. And you will be successful without that person as well. Okay. Um, so you all have a brand new sparkly website. That means that today you can set up the show on your website that is your launch party or your leader may have it already set up on her website on your behalf, so double check. But either way, you have a link 
or you can have a link that you can start collecting orders with. You can start inviting people near and far because far away people, if your mother-in-law lives in Boca and you don't live in Boca, you, she can still order on your show. Remember, your launch party is like the best double dip in the whole world because you get to get paid on the show because you're the fashion director, but you're also the hostess. Do you know that means you're entitled to all of the hostess benefits on that party? You're getting the $22 thank you award piece. You're getting all of the free credit. Does anyone know the magic number of orders that you need at Park Lane to get double free credit? You can either unmute yourself and hold up the number of fingers. <laughs> Phyllis has provided the number, as has Tamika. 10 orders gets you, instead of $20 in order, it gets you $40 in order. 10 times 40 is $400 in jewelry. And that's our goal for you because your kit is not just the $1,000 that you picked already or you're about to pick. It's the $400 in credit and then the thank you award and whatever half price items you take advantage of. It's the hostess only pieces you're able to take advantage of. So your package really should be about $2,000 when all said and done for your 20 bucks. Remember, if you get your launch party in and it's a thousand by June 12th, that's another $250 in jewelry for you. Can you believe this is all generating out of two zero dollars 20? This is crazy town. All right, I wanna show you uh, one more screen share before we end and before I um, end the recording for any questions you might wanna ask. But, um, most of you at this point have seen our team Facebook page, right? I just want to show you where a couple of highlights are. Oh, Christine did a live while we were here. Wonderful. Okay, so Shine On is our team page, our team group. And we have lots of helpful things in here that will help you with your success. Um, one of my newer recruits, one of my newest recruits today was asking earlier, um, where do I get nice pictures to make a VIP group and things like that? If you go into the albums section, wait, where did they go? I feel like I know it better from my phone than on the desktop, but there's, um, you know, there's photos in here, there's training in here. One of the biggest um, helpful areas here is the announcements section. You can get to this from your phone or your desktop, but announcements is where I put anything that's super important is here. And the reason for that is that we all can't stand scrolling to find something. So important things go in the announcements. If you have not yet picked your kit, this was the list I, um, I compiled today of all excellent choices. This is more than a thousand, so you can't get all of this in your kit, but you can pick from this. Um, these are all available items that you can um, put into your kit, and that's the photos of some of the items. Um, some of the pieces I didn't have available to me to take a picture. But um, this is where you RSVP right for this call. Um, this is how to do the sign up, like all of these things. If there's a fun contest that's going on, I put it here so that you don't lose it. Our local team, this is our next most, uh, our next upcoming live event. This is last month's Rich Rewards that we're tracking. So all of this fun stuff, I try to keep into this section. Now, see this one right here, words to use? This one is gonna be one of your BFFs because what's in here in the comments is approximately 50 different ways that you can use to phrase some follow-up and some asking for bookings and some checking in on customers with jewelry. And all you have to do is read the script or copy and paste if you're texting it. So this is a super helpful area for you. And the main one that's extra the most important is this. This is our Sparkle resource. This section here is a compilation 
of many different training videos and tutorials that will help you in your business. So when you're ready to start entering a show, there's a tutorial here about order entry, how to open the show and start the customer orders, how to do the host order, what if my hostess wants to join, where do I click for that, how do I do an exchange for somebody and generate that form. All of that is here. If you want some sales skills, there's videos on that. So take a look at this, because if you commute, instead of listening to music sometimes, listen to a training. Instead of watching a rerun of Friends for the 650th time, watch a training, listen to a training. I do stuff like this all the time. Um, I really do pride myself personally on being a student of my business. I re-listen to trainings that maybe were new to me a long time ago, or I listen to things that were recent so that I can always be improving. So I think you'll find this section quite helpful as well. All right, and there's other things in the announcement section you can check out as well. But I don't want to just keep going on because this call has reached an hour. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to stop the recording and open it up to questions for any of you that have questions.